Hey there. I was commissioned by the Ottawa poet Sandra Ridley to uh, photograph some artwork that her husband had uh, done for her for her forthcoming book of poetry. And um, I gladly I accepted. This will be my second book that I photographed with uh, Sandra. And I just want to show you a, uh, a behind the scenes photo shoot. It's basically a three light setup. Two you see here, uh, left and right. Uh, they're basically just uh, one by three strip boxes uh, triggered by Profoto D1 Airs. And I also have uh, a fill, which is behind the camera on axis, just a, a V flat. Don't really require it, but I thought I'd give it a little bit of fill anyway. Um, just so that it's ultra even and it's lit perfectly. She wanted some options with the cropping. Yeah, she desired an eight by eight. And she also wanted to uh, have um, the arches paper as, a, as an option. Uh, the print itself is larger than eight by eight. It's more of a rectangle, but uh, she wanted a, a square format. And she supplied some uh, Arches uh, watercolor paper, and you'll see the green painter's tape on the corners. But none of none of the actual um, artwork is taped over. It's the just strips of of blank paper. So the setup here, like I said, it's on a D3. I'm using my 105 millimeter lens. Uh, it's a macro lens or a micro lens, and. I've, uh, I'm photographing at 1 250th of f8, one step below ISO 200, so it's low 0 0.3 at 5000 Kelvin. Uh, I may adjust the white balance as required, and uh, I've taken some measurements of that. So basically there's a uh, light behind me um, acting as fill, and it's set to 5.3 power. Uh, but that's arbitrary, and um, this is the results I've gotten so far, uh, straight from camera, so pretty happy with them. And I, I noticed that the uh, the blues really pop uh, when exposed to, you know, proper lighting here. It's really nice. It's, it's rather a dark and um, somber uh, landscape with trees, which should fit nicely with her uh, book of poems so there you go behind the scenes of the photo shoot thanks for watching